Hey guys and welcome back to this video. In this series, I will be making a FPS game inside of Roblox. If you don't know what FPS means, uh, in this case it means first person shooter. Because we will be making a first person shooter game. A lot of people have not subscribed to me yet. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe to my channel, like the video and hit the bell. In this video, um, I want to be making a weapon selector. So you can select a weapon to spawn in with to kill people. The game will be like Arsenal, but a little bit different. Every 5 minutes, a winner will be chosen with the most amount of kills. So if you had uh, 75 kills and the other person had 74, that means you won because you had more kills. The game is FFA based, so that it means um, it's a free for all game. Everybody, everybody and everyone can kill each other. After the winner has been chosen, the rounds are over again. And the game loops over and over and over again. We shall start scripting the system now. So what we're going to be starting with is make a GUI for a game. Um, if you die, you can uh, select a new weapon because why not? Screen GUI, you insert it and you click right, rename, weapon selector GUI. Then go and insert a frame. Um, for this, you're going to be right clicking, rename and name it main frame inside of the frame it is optional but highly recommended ui corner it's gonna corner your edges i prefer making it blue so that's what i'm doing the anchor point 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 enter and it's gonna be a bit offset don't worry position 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 should be in the center I prefer making it like 300 by 150 that's too small 550 by 250 and you'll be able to select from three weapons what we can do now um, I'm gonna go to the text button Gonna make it 150. Anchor point again 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5. Enter. I prefer making the size 152, so you have a square. Position 0 0.2, comma 0, comma 0 0.5, comma 0. It should be right over here. In the toolbox, I'm going to be looking for three weapons. I'm going to go into replicated storage, insert a folder, right click on the folder, rename weapons, click the plus, uh, sorry, no, search for some weapons in the toolbox, the by Roblox is highly recommended, yes, I want to put them, yep, 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 I'm going to delete two. Because that's a Roblox thing. I'm gonna drag that into here and I'm gonna name it Assault Rifle. I also want a. Mm, yeah, shotgun is fine. Delete the two and drag it into weapons. Then get a real gun, sure. Delete two and drag it in there. I believe it is assault rifle. Yep. And this is going to be the assault rifle. Uh, we, I'm gonna. And then making it a little bit darker. And I'm gonna be naming it assault rifle. I prefer, yeah, Patrick Hand. Perfect. I'm gonna be making, um, I'm gonna control D, two of them. And this one's going to be the real gun. And this one is going to be the shotgun. The assault rifle goes into 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5
select all of your text buttons border size pixel zero click on your shotgun and put the position to 0 0.8 go to your real gun go to text and type real gun go to shotgun and do the same type shotgun insert in um in your weapon selector gui you want to be you want to make a uh, local script and type let's zoom in local mainframe is equals to script the parent of mainframe local ar equals to us uh, mainframe dot assault rifle local rg is equals to mainframe dot real gun local sg is equals to mainframe dot shotgun ar dot mouse button one click Call connect function player and do the same but instead of ar rg and then instead of ar sg for testing i'm gonna print some things i just select all three test 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 everything works you want to duplicate your weapons folder delete the weapons inside of it right click rename remote events and insert a remote event name this one the AR event over here type game the replicated storage dot remote events dot AR event fire server for the player you want to go into server script service and insert a folder main system and then insert a script I want to rename the script to um, the remote event handlers I want to make a new folder right click rename in, you want to rename it to remote events drag your script into it um, you can type game the replicated storage dot remote events dot ar event dot on server event clone connect to the function of the player what you can do now is local ar equals to game the replicated storage dot weapons dot assault rifle clone clone well, like that. AR clone clone. AR dot parent is equals to player clone weight for child backpack. You want to delete this line and type over here local clone. Um, maybe this works. So I'll test it out. As you see, we got the assault rifle. But now we're stuck, so I'm gonna do this. So what you wanna do over here? Once you fired it, type uh, mainframe that visible is equals to false, and test your game again. I want a assault rifle. And we got it. Yep. Now you can do that with every single one. Copy and paste these four lines. Duplicate, duplicate. Uh, get two more remote events by pressing Control D two times. One, two. Over here, type RG event. And over here, SG event. Over here, type RG event. And SG event. Then, instead of assault rifle, I want to do RG and RG. And here, SG and SG. And then over here, 
instead of assault rifle type railgun and over here shotgun go into your local script and copy these lines again paste them over here instead of AR event SG event and um, RH RG event sorry let's test this out Hmm, I want a real gun. Yep, and we got a real gun. So this is a basic weapon um, giver. Now I kind of want to test something out. Yep, go over here, make a new folder, and right click, rename the died function, get a new script in it, right click the script, rename a died handler, type, game not players, the player added, one connect to the function of a player, player.character added, one connect to the function of a uh, char uh, char dot humanoid that died can connect to a function of a um, let's keep it empty then um, make new uh, player um, player can find first child oh well if player dot backpack Come on, find first child. Assault. I am bad at spelling, so I'm gonna just copy it. Or player dot backpack. Come on, find first child. Real gun. Or player dot backpack. Come on, find first child. Shotgun. Then. Um, uh, wait. Player dot backpack, colon clear all children. How about we just try this out first? Oops, um, maybe, um, character dot humanoid. Wait, um, how do I come? Oh, yeah. But character dot humanoid dot health is zero. What? Okay, gotta respawn myself. Game. Dot players dot newbie dot dev dot character humanoid that health is equal to zero. We died, and because we died, you see if it's if I'm correct. Yep, we respawned, and we do not have our guns anymore. So that works. Then over here, you can just delete these lines. And then player colon load character. So you're gonna well wait one. Play here. Game dot players. Newbie derpy dev dot character. Humanoid dot health equals to zero but before we do that mm, assault rifle pretty good wow that's also new it's now active okay game the workspace 
Fraction players dot newbie dot Dev dot character dot humanoid health equals to zero. Boom, and we got respawn, but our camera is now stuck. I believe. Um. Because I'm, I believe it's a th because I'm a third person. Oh, that's an easy fix. If I'm right, you can just you should be able to go. Whoa. We will be doing this in the next tutorial. Yep. If you want, of course, you can go in text label and then if you're just desperate or something you can just make it 1,0 by 0, 0,35 and then it's like over there and then what you can do also is just um, FPS game and then you have a little um, Patrick hand of course and then practice transparency one and then you have your text so let me click play here hmm what weapon do I want? I want to have a shotgun. And now you have a shotgun. So this is the first tutorial on how to make a FPS game. If you did enjoy, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell down below. This is going to be me. It's going to be it for the tutorial. And I'll see you all in the next part. Adios!